I just scaled the image up with a classical transformation tool. And now I'm going to apply some contrast. Like this is the first thing that comes to my mind when I look at the tree structure where we actually can have some some interesting parts because we're not making a specific brush for leaves or or bark we're just focusing on creating an interesting appealing brush that that works for for our personal preference or for for our eye so we can really have this class very individual and and you can use it for your very very personal artwork so let's just press Control L. This is like the most basic way to to put up your your contrast. Um, we have our spectrum here from from dark to bright, and we take the outermost um, pins and just drag them inward, so the actual input levels get dragged outside of the spectrum, basically. So the the brighter parts will get brighter until they break out as you see and the darker parts get darker until they fall off <laughs> so it's really a very very simple process and when we're when we're happy with the result yeah we can press ok and the system that we use on photoshop to actually save brushes is a realm that does not know color it just knows black and white unless we're using the mixer brush but that's like another chapter by itself so we we really focus on the classical brush here and when we um, press uh, control u for example we can slowly I say, for example, because there are like many ways in Photoshop how to make an image black and white. Um, so let's let's stick to this um, approach as we can like slowly, I'm sorry, uh, slowly fade out the saturation here. And it's very interesting because we can kind of sneak our way in into how like what part of the picture we actually want to use and and make this yeah make this brush an, an interesting brush yeah now now i see that i would even go like harder on the contrast so i just pressed ok except that the the gray level and now i give it just a little bit more brightness <laughs> 